In what may be a sign of the time, some Oildale residents are concerned about an increase of theft in their neighborhoods. 23 ABC's Mark Christian tells us what's being done to make it harder for thieves to climb up and remove street signs. Residents have a lot of questions because no matter how many times they get replaced, it's ridiculous. They, they put them up and three days they're gone. And it's anybody's guess as to what someone would use them for. A lot of people will hang them in their garage or their bedroom. Or who the culprits are. Just kids probably at night having nothing else to do. Well, the county has done something about the growing crime by raising the stakes. They're a little taller. It's not your normal street sign. Yes, they're kind of tall. After the county is notified of a stolen street sign, they will initially replace it on a standard 10-foot pole. However, if a street sign is stolen again, they will replace it with a taller pole, which is meant to curb further theft. I think this should deter them, but these people seem like they're quite adamant about getting them whatever it takes. I've heard of people staring, stealing street signs from the traffic lights, so I don't think a taller street sign would be too much of a deterrent. Now, the county started using the 12-foot poles about a year ago when they've noticed an increase in sign theft. However, many residents in this area want to know why somebody would steal a street sign in the first place. People find signs that have maybe their last name in it. If they took, like, the Merle Haggard or something, I could see that, but this is just goldenrod and twin leaf. Law enforcement says you could face misdemeanor charges if you are caught stealing a sign or they find one on your property. Mark Christian, 23 ABC.